Hey guys, what's going on? You're watching Show Me Firearms, and in today's video, we're going to be putting a TV show myth to the test. The myth is from the original Hawaii Five O series. So, Danny Williams is chasing a bad guy down the streets of Honolulu. The bad guy barricades himself inside a hotel room. Danny comes along, orders him to come out. Of course, the bad guy doesn't comply. So, Danny pulls out his 38 revolver, bang, puts one round straight through the doorknob, and it actually kills the guy in the other side. So, that's what we're gonna test out today. Can the 38 Special actually go all the way through a doorknob and kill someone on the other side? Okay, here's our setup to put today's myth to the test. We have our doorknob here nailed up against these two logs. And then we have a water jug back here to take the place of our bad guy. So we're gonna fire a 38 Special at that doorknob. We're gonna see if it can make it all the way through to the other side. And if it does make it through to the other side, can it do any damage to that water jug? So let's put it to the test. All right, we are loaded up with some 38 Special full metal jacket ammo. So hopefully we'll have the best chance possible at getting through that doorknob. Now, as we saw from the clip there, Danny was using a stub nose revolver, whereas his Rock Island Armory M200 has, I think it's a four inch barrel. So that bullet's gonna have time to pick up more velocity to give us a better chance of getting through that doorknob. So I'm gonna aim for not the doorknob itself, but like the metal flange around the doorknob. So hopefully that'll be a little bit thinner and we can have a better chance of making it all the way through and busting our water jug. Let's give it a shot. That went low left. I'll have to adjust my aim a little bit. Not exactly where I was aiming, but I think we still went through our doorknob. Let's go have a look. All right, so there's where our bullet went in. I was trying to aim more like over here. Ended up going through down here. So we're going to do that again. Let's take a look at the back side. So it looks like it looks like the bullet came out like right down there. Missed our water jug. Little piece of uh, shrapnel from the wood punctured it. But it looks like our bullet missed it. So let's give it another try. This time I'm gonna come at it more straight on. I was going at it more of an angle before to try to hit this part. But this time I'll just aim dead on and we'll just see if we can make it through that way. So this time I'm just gonna aim dead on at that doorknob and we'll see if we can make it through. Bust our water jug. Not exactly sure where we hit. I want to give it another round. One more. We still haven't busted the water jug, though. You know what, actually? Screw it. I'm going to go up really close. That was a much better shot. Yes, we peppered this thing pretty good. So that was our first shot. And that one hit dead on. That was perfect right there. And we can follow our trail destruction right here. Bust it through there. Did it come out the other side? Let's rip this off. Have a look. Nope, nothing came through our doorknob. Those are all um, bad shots from earlier. But this one right here, that was dead on. That did not make it through. That bullet stopped inside that doorknob. And only that little piece of wood shrapnel punctured our water jug. No bullets made it through with enough power to bust our water jug. Well, there you have it, guys. I'm not gonna say for sure if today's results were like conclusive in uh, busting or confirming today's TV show myth. I'm just gonna say, based on what we saw here today in this test, that it's not likely that you're gonna make it through a doorknob and kill someone on the other side with a 38 Special. That is not to say it couldn't happen because there's so many variables like the strength of the doorknob itself, the strength of the wood that makes up the door, what kind of ammo you're using, so many variables. So I'm not gonna say it couldn't happen, but based on what we saw out here today, I'm gonna to say it's not likely that you could blow through a doorknob and kill someone on the other side with a 38 Special. Thanks so much for watching today's video, guys. I appreciate you being here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, show me them firearms.
What a way to send off a monster mower, am I right? So much freedom!